Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Guru video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create or add navigation menus to your WordPress website. So, uh, in order to have you know a nice looking website that people can traverse easily and can get around easily, like here's my YouTube Creators Hub website. As you can see over here on the right, I have my nav menus. That's where I've selected to kind of have mine. You can have yours on the top, just depending on kind of the aesthetic of your website and how you want to go about you know laying out your website design so if you see up here I've added a menu for this tutorial it's a tutorial menu up here in the upper right hand corner and then it has an about me link here that directs you to my about me page uh, there on my website so let's go back into the back end of your WordPress site so the first thing that you're want, going to want to do is hover over appearance which is, has the paintbrush right there beside it and then once you do that you're going to click on that and you're going to see a few different options okay so under appearance you're going to see this that says menus click on the menus option it may flare out uh, or it may be below there just depending on how you have it set up or what version of WordPress that you are running so let me take you through the basics of adding deleting and uh, you know maintaining menus uh, a menu structure on your website so the first thing you got to decide is where do you want this menu do you want it on the top hand side of your screen like I have these links here do you want it on the right nav bar do you want it on the left nav bar so it all depends on you and your preferences once we've done that we now want to create a menu okay so in order to do that you're going to click on the create a new menu link up here uh, it's right under the edit menus tab so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this menu uh, the one that I did there and to show you and I'm gonna walk you through the process um all the way so the first thing you're going to do is you can go up here to the create new menu just like I showed you and then once you do that it'll uh, ask you what do you want to name this menu so I'm going to go ahead and name this menu tutorial menu 2 okay and then once you've done that you'll want to click on the blue create menu button on the right hand side once you've clicked that you now have a new menu for your website congratulations now once we do that we're going to have to do a few things to get it set up so first thing uh first is the menu structure so add menu items from the column on the left so you have three different ways you could add something to a menu uh, you could add pages which you create and I'll do a video on that just you know separate pages not you know post or anything like that these are static pages that you've added to your website you can add links uh, you can add direct links to certain things like your YouTube channel or whatever it may be and then categories which is the one that I normally always do because it just makes it easier for me uh, creating categories is very easy you just hover over the post go to categories and just create new ones and then each time you create a post you just tag it under that category that way when you add these categories to your menus those posts will be underneath that so what you'll want to do now is let's go ahead and click on the YouTube tutorials category there and then underneath it you'll see a little button that says add to menu click on that there once we do that and it loads you will now see the YouTube tutorial page or category underneath the the menu that I just created you can click on the down arrow there and then you can even change the nav label so you can even change what this is titled underneath that menu and then you can give it an attribute which we won't really get into right now uh, and, and you can even remove that uh, from that menu if you have wrongly added it and you do not want it there anymore so I'm gonna leave it there just for the purposes of this tutorial and then the next thing you'll see is the menu settings now uh, if you click this box here it'll say automatically add new top level pages to this menu so if you have any top level pages that you said hey this is going to be a page that I create I want it you know all the way across my website click that and those will automatically be added and you won't have to come in and manually do what we're doing here uh, if you have a bunch of categories you can view them all here you can go to search and even search for those uh, if you have a whole bunch of categories but remember in order to have a good looking site with nice looking nav menus you're going to need to keep it kind of clean you're going to need to keep it kind of small you don't want to clutter up the whole sidebar with a whole bunch of stuff so like I got popular post here and I have the most you know seven most popular posts on the website and I have those there on the right hand side so you can do all of that within the nav menu now the last thing that you're going to need to do is and this is going to depend on the type of theme that you're running on your website okay once we have that set up there we'll go ahead and save that menu by clicking the blue save menu button on the right hand side once we've done that it'll say that menu has been updated we then want to go under appearance again in the toolbar and go to our widgets so click on the widgets here 
And then once under widgets, you're going to see all of your different widgets, again, depending on the theme that you're using. You may have a few different ones than I do. And then go over to wherever you want your menu to be. So let's say I want it to be on my sidebar, which I do. I'm gonna click on the widget sidebar over here, and I'm gonna go ahead and remove this one because this is the one that I did before the tutorial. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a custom menu. So go ahead and grab the custom menu widget, which is right here. You can just click on them and drag them over to the sidebar. So I now have a custom menu that I can click and drag right over here. Now, click on that down arrow to title that menu. So we're gonna title this Tutorial Menu Two, just like that. And then in order to go ahead and apply your menu that you just created on your website, click the Select Menu drop-down box and then select the one that we just created or the one that you've created and then hit Save, the blue Save button right there. And then once we've done that, we can go back now to our live site, refresh the page, and we'll now see where it says over here on the right, Tutorial Menu 2, and then it has that page right there underneath it that we added to that menu. And that'll be all across the board. That'll be on the whole website, and that's all done via the nav menu settings. Now, once we've done that, you are good to go. You can always go back in uh, and delete that, so you can always go back into your menu settings and then look at the ones that you have created, and you can delete the menu by clicking the red Delete menu here. You can go and always add categories, remove categories, change the names and things like that all from within the menus tab here so we'll go ahead and delete that menu by clicking that button it'll ask us to confirm it click OK and now that menu has been deleted and then you'll probably want to go back over to your widgets where you just added that and then go ahead and remove that as well just like I did previously and then that's about it guys that's how you add menus and navigation menus to your WordPress website very easy very simple uh, don't forget to check out my other WordPress videos I got a great one on how to build a WordPress website in under 10 minutes takes you through the hosting process and everything I'll drop that link in the description box below don't forget to uh, like this video it does help me out share it with your friends and family uh, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more great tech content reviews tutorials gaming anything like that if that is up your alley go ahead and hit that subscribe button now and I will see you guys in the next one